Trinity Wall Street's mission and ministry are funded in large part through land given to the church by the British Crown when New York was a colony of England. Now, Trinity is working in partnership with the Anglican Church in Africa to utilize land that is part of the colonial legacy there to produce the financial resources needed for the mission of the church in Africa. Trinity's been funding development projects, community projects, for almost 30 years in the church in Africa. Uh, but the hope is that these projects will become sustainable. And so the church now in Africa has to think of how to generate their own resources. Financial sustainability means the opportunity to be in partnership with the church around the world, but not be dependent on partners to do the mission and ministry that they need to do in their local communities every day. Things like pay clergy salaries, respond to the orphans and, and the poor. The churches in Africa, as you have seen here, they have land. So one of the, the question and one of the challenge they put be to Trinity was help us to develop the land that we have inherited from the colonial times. The peer mentoring workshop, the series of them are bringing togetherness, the leadership skills in the bishops and their people. Well, what I can say is that I learned a lot, which was very relevant to my work. We have several income generating projects. We have a guest house which has uh, about uh, 30 rooms and can accommodate about 80 people. And uh, that uh, facility is giving us two million per year. Then when I took over as uh, the Bishop of Diocese of Dakuru, I started, I, I thought of what am I going to do? And I came up with the idea of having a shopping mall. A bishop in Africa, mind you, he's a pastor, he's a CEO, he's a manager, and he's a fundraiser. We are not trying to change bishops into businessmen or the leadership of the church into business people. But what we are saying is that as much as we carry on the gospel, we need to have a resource to sustain the mission of the gospel. Therefore, for us to be sustainable is to have investments. It was a major shift for Trinity when we started to fund in this area, uh, looking at income generation. But I think the important thing to remember for all of us is that the purpose of generating these funds is to serve the community and to serve the people of God wherever we find them. But I think certainly the partners have found that these two things are compatible. You can do business and you can do good. Things like this can be done. And then I know there will be time when we will say, yes, we can now even help others. They realize that it is time for the church in Africa, the Anglican church in Africa, to reduce on the dependency. As Trinity was given a gift, Trinity is doing the same, passing on the gift to other uh, churches around the world. Now Trinity is the first to say to our partners in Africa, yes, we can help you develop the land you have. Thanks to Trinity uh, as a parish, to the rector, and everyone who has been involved in helping us conduct these workshops. It was a mustard seed when we, we started, but now I think it has grown, and very soon the birds will be sitting on the mustard trees.